The sixth uh, nugget I want to tell you as a boy you need to know is that you need to inform your father of your intention to marry. So you don't go to your mother as a boy. You go to the father first of all and inform your father of your intention to marry. For those who don't have fathers, it's okay to go to the mother uh -huh, and inform them of your intention. But it is preferably better if your father is alive, it's better to tell him first. Uh -huh, because that when you tell the father, then things will be okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the seventh nugget is that you need to look for best couples. This is whereby these people will help you to, run, uh, to buy things that are required for the wedding and also advise you and also uh, work with you uh, all the journey up to the day you say, I do. Mm -hmm. So best couples, you need to have those best couples that are uh, God-fearing because if you just get somebody who is drunkard, woe unto you because they won't give you the proper advice. Mm -hmm. The eighth thing, you need to be mature. Before you think of marriage, are you ready for marriage? <laughs> are you longing to have somebody in uh, to marry? Are you longing to have somebody with you? So you must be mature. And whatever comes out of your mouth should be not be rubbish, but it should be something that is ordained by God. Uh -huh. You should talk maturely. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. You should not talk like a child because already you have decided to marry. Praise be to God. The ninth nugget I want to share with you is that you need to propose the wedding month. As a boy, you are there to propose uh, this certain month. I, I want to my wedding to be done that uh, that day, mm -hmm. that month. Uh -huh. But be warned. The day is not for you to decide. It's for the girl to decide. I'll tell you later why. Mm -hmm. So propose the wedding month. If it is, if the girl agrees, no problem. Uh, the tenth nugget I want to share with you is that you need to look for the cheapest tailor around to make your clothes. Groom men and page uh, boys. So this tailor, who is the one who is going to make your uh, the clothes that you're going to wear that day. So even if he's the cheapest person, but he makes the best quality. Uh -huh. You don't look for the cheapest person who makes will ruin the day. Uh -huh. So it is a person that you also, is a person who makes you know that he's a good tailor around. Praise be to God. And then the 11th uh, nugget I want to share with you is that you need to work hand in hand with your best man. So when I said you look in number seven, we said you look for best couples. So the best man is, a, is the one you work hand in hand. So it's the one you go with him, look at that tailor. So he'll, he'll direct you to the best tailor and then you're going to get the best quality. Uh -huh. So look for the best, uh, when you look for the best couples, they are the people who you know have the go good uh, character in them. So they'll advise you mostly and then you walk in hand in hand, whatever it tells you, do it and you'll see your day will be fine. Praise be to God. Uh, the twelfth nugget I want to share with you is that have some session for counseling with the couples. Uh -huh. So these sessions are not to be done at night. Uh -huh. So with your beloved, you need to arrange some time, even if it's after service, uh -huh, Sunday service, you go and visit them and then you have some counseling sessions with them. So this counseling is just to help you to be at par with the, with the events that are going to happen. Uh -huh. Then the 13th uh, nugget I want to share with you is that you need to look for the cheapest place to produce wedding cards, invite, and for harambe. Because if harambe means that if you have a pre-wedding, you need to put uh, some cards, which is, has uh, uh, 50 bob, 100 bob, 200, 500, or 1,000, depending on the people who you are close to. So the, the, the logo or 50, 100, whatever, 
you give them to your friends who will, in other ways, will chip in the money and the money you're going to use it to uh, fund your wedding day. Uh -huh. So I want to tell you that uh, to produce those cards, it depends with the person. So you work with your best man to look out for the cheapest. If you have somebody who can uh, produce those wedding cards at a cheaper price, then bless that thing. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know any person, let your best man direct you. Now, the last thing a nugget I want to share is that you are the person as a boy. You, are, you need to invite the guests required to come. It's not their girl to invite them. It's you because you are the man. Yes, the man. You need to invite those who are going to come to your wedding. Also, your family. You are the one who to, to invite them and those to come as honorable guests. So in other words, those who are coming as honorable guests to your wedding, you are the one who is going to take the initiative to welcome them. So let us go to the break 